and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So if this is your first time joining us, um, I will encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and as well click on the notification bell so you get updated and you know get notification each time I post a new video. Alright, so today I'll be walking you through step by step on how to host your website on AWS EC2 instance. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to walk you through the the flow of execution in this hands-on project do not worry it is very simple and I will make it detailed for you all right so the flow of execution so the first step in this tutorial is to launch an EC2 instance all right and then we'll create a key pair and add um, security group to it as well and the second step will be to SSH into the EC2 instance the third step will be to update our instance that is updating the package manager the fourth one will be to install the necessary software that the website needs to run and the fifth step will be to copy the web files into the HTML directory Another step will be to start the Apache service and lastly, we'll confirm and validate that our website um, to check if our website is actually running. Okay, so just grab a cup of coffee and make yourself comfortable and let's get started. So right now I will log in or I will go over to my AWS console and let's start the hands-on project. So right now, as you can see, I'm in my AWS management console already. So here, once you sign into your console, just come to click on services, as you can see. So just here at the search bar type EC2. And once you type EC2, this is EC2 service, just click on it. great and that will bring you to the ec2 dashboard okay so over here that says launch instance just click on it and click on launch instance all right so once you are in this page the first thing to do here is just to um, name your server all right so let's name this ec2 instance i will name it um my web server okay so my web server is fine and i'll scroll down we'll be using amazon linux for this and um, it is already selected so and um, i'll just scroll down and here um, instance type will be using is T2 micro okay as you can see it is already selected um, so it is fine we we'll leave it and scroll down so here we have to create a key pair we can use for this EC2 instance but what happened is that I already have a key pair okay the way to create it just to click on this create new key pair so I'll click on it just to show you how to create that over here all you just need to enter is the key pair name all right so just use any name you want for your key pair and uh, the key pair type should be rsa so leave it this way and then the private key format you can use dot spam or dot ppk so if you're using your windows or mac um, terminal dot spam is fine but if you're using um, something like putty you can use dot ppk and once you do that, just click on create key pair and automatically the key pair will be downloaded to your um, download folder in your PC or in your computer. Okay, so I will cancel this because I have mine already. So all I need to do is just to click on this drop down and I'll select my key. This is it over here. Select it. Alright, so here under network setting, I'll just click on edit right and um, we we'll be using the default vpc and it's here already and um so just scroll down 
So we'll be creating a, a security group for this um, for this EC2 instance, and the security group I will just name it um, my web server SG. Okay. Okay, and I will copy the same name and use it uh, use it as the description over here. All right, so here we actually have two security rules we'll be using for this. The first one is here already by default, which is SSH. So this SSH here, as you can see, is on is running on port twenty two, and we want to be able to connect from um, anywhere all right so i'm gonna leave it this way but i'll click on add another security group so we can use http because we'll be accessing this website over the browser right so i'll just click on custom tcp um, on this drop down and i'll select http here okay and it to be running on port 80 and the source type i'll be using is anywhere as well okay so and um that will be all and please if this is production please when you're doing so when you're trying to select the source type from here please be mindful of you know what you're selecting because yeah this is for the purpose of this project we're using anywhere but in production of course up to um can limit it to your IP so you'll be the one to access it from your machine all right having said that I will just click on launch instance all right so I'll just scroll down and over here I'll click on view all instances and this is it so if you create your instance um the first the first state um that you see your instance is actually a pending state so you just have to give it like a minute or two for it to get ready so i'm gonna pause this video and i'll come back once it's ready this i refreshed and i can see that my instance is up and running and the status check is also passed all right so according to our flow of execution the second step will be to ssh into this ec2 instance so all i have to do is to click on it select it and under details under details tab um just copy the ip address so i'll go ahead and copy this ip address and i'll go over to my terminal so before i you know type in my ssh command i want to see the default home directory that this terminal opens to so i will run pwd press enter the part is this this is the part of my um directory all right so um when you created your keeper it's actually downloaded all right probably it might download to your your download folder so all you have to do is to check the terminal the, the you check the part that your terminal opens to all right so this is the part this is my own path like you can see this is the part this is the exact part i have in my terminal so what i did was to copy my key pair from the download folder and i just pasted it here so this is my key over here so it should do same all right so let me go back to my terminal so here to ssh into my ec2 instance i just need to run this command ssh space dash i and then i'll type the name of my key pair which is windows key dot pem dot pem all right space ec2 user which is the default um user for the amazon linux we are using and um add i'll paste the ip address i copied from my from aws oh i think i need to copy it again and paste it all right so i'll press enter so here are you sure you want to connect uh you are, are you sure you want to continue connecting i'll just say yes enter great so now i've actually ssh into my ec2 instance so here the first command will be running is to um 
be a root user right so i want to be a root user and just do sudo su and and i'm now a root user so the second command will be running is to update this server so yum update dash y and i'll press enter and um, it's saying no packages marked marked for update this means that uh, my system is actually up to date so there's no there's no updates to install all right so having updated our system the next command we'll be running is to actually install the web server we'll be using okay so let me open so i have all the command listed here all right so right so the third command will be to install the apache web server we'll be using so i've copied it and i'll paste it here i'll press enter and it will start installing the apache web server and it shows completed awesome so let me go back to my okay so the next command here is to create a directory for our project or for our um, website all right so uh, the command is to use mkdir and then the name of the folder we want okay so let me clear this so i want to name this um server oh there is no space here okay press enter now i've created my directory okay and um, to see the directory i just created ls all right so i'll have to change directory into this server so so now i'm inside my directory so let's go back to our command okay i just changed the directory and um, so the next command here is to run wget command and then download the content of our website so i have my website i have my files in this directory or in this location all right so let me show you because i actually have it on my github so um over here i have index.html how do, did i get the url all i did was just to click on this you know drop down here and this is a download as zip because we want to download this as a zip file so for you to achieve that you just have to right click and you know copy link that was how i was able to get the the url i'll be using here so i'll just copy this the way it is and control c and I'll go back to my terminal and I'll paste it. Press enter. All right. So this has actually downloaded. And to, um, to confirm that, I'll just need to run ls. Great. As you can see, it has downloaded as a zip folder. All right. So um, since, this, since we have this as a zip folder, we actually need to unzip it. So I'll just run unzip and then the name of the folder and i'll press enter great this has actually unzipped it and to confirm ls press enter great as you can see this actually has this is the folder that has my files for the website all right so what i'll do right now the next command will be executing right now going back to the step we have going back to the step we have here the next command will be executing here is to change directory to this folder i'll just copy it and i'll paste it over here press enter great so we are now inside this folder do ls and as you can see these are actually the files i have in this and this index.html file contains the the html code all right for our website 
All right. So the next command will be carrying out here is to move the content. So right now, we want to convert these files into a web server, right? So we need to move them into a separate HTML directory called var slash www slash HTML. All right. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'll paste it over here. Mm. All right. So having done this, the next command in our list is to go into this directory. Okay. That is CD. I'll copy this. press enter so we are inside this directory this html directory called var slash www slash html all right so let's view the content all right so it's we actually have our file over here now all right so what is the next command what we'll be having right now is to enable the the apache server all right so to enable our apache server all we just have to do is to run systemctl enable httpd okay going over to my terminal i'll so before that i actually want to see the status just to let you know that without enabling it this website won't run so i want to run status and you'll see that it is inactive all right so it is dead so let's enable this i'll press enter and this has been enabled so the next command we have is to you know start this web server and i'll just change this to start sorry i'll press enter this has actually started so if i run the status again system CTL status HTTPD press enter as you can see this is actually up and running so now we are actually following our you know flow of execution so at this stage after starting our web server what we just need to do is to confirm that our website is up and running so by running all these following these steps um, we've actually hosted our html website on aws ec2 instance so all i have to do is to use the public ip address and let's try accessing it over the browser i will copy the ip address from here and i will go over to the browser and then i will paste this press enter great so this is my website and <laughs> so this website is just a simple website you know i just it just for the purpose of this tutorial all right so as you can see we've just hosted our html website on amazon ec2 instance okay so this is actually the way you can follow this is the method you can follow to host your html website on amazon ec2 instance all right so what we'll do right now is to terminate our server okay so here i will just go to the instance state and terminate this instance all right so here comes the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it but before you go kindly subscribe to this channel and um, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video I'll be posting some videos very soon, some project, and I know you'll be interested. So please subscribe and notification so that you stay updated. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next lecture. Thank you and bye.